Hello there, it's Phantom with a small tutorial. Um, I just want to teach you guys how to edit basic scripts. For this video, I'm going to be utilizing a Visual Studio Code and obviously the game 911 First Responders. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be editing Hoppa's um, Siren script for LA Mod. And while I've already edited it for my mod, I just want to make another like make a video so that you guys know how to edit some basic scripts. So we're going to navigate to the LA mod, which is going to be, if you have the Steam version, Steam, Steam apps, common, now we'll first responders, Los Angeles mod, scripts, game, command. We're going to look for LA siren. LA siren's right here. We're going to go ahead and hit control C, go back to our mods folder. Go to whichever mod that you were editing, and control V. And just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to move my siren script just in a, a random spot. Alright, we're going to go back in here, and LA siren. Now you can name this to whatever you want. You can name it to mute. I mean, whatever. Um, these these little slashes they make it to where the script doesn't read this line of code, so you can just put whatever you want here, and it won't affect anything. But I'm not going to do that because it just makes the script messy, and you don't necessarily need it. So, at the uh, beginning of this, you might find all of this very intimidating. I did as well whenever I first started scripting. Well, not scripting, but editing scripts. But really, all that this part is, is this is defining like names of the commands. This is defining what the prototypes are. So, the script references this. And it's just a shorter way of saying this. So... If you're in like an algebra class, I'm sure you've heard f of x, I believe it is. And which, that's basically what it is. It's just a function referencing this path. Instead of writing this path, you just write proto underscore engine l1. And if we come down here, you can see that is exactly what it references. But uh, You can basically, I'm pretty sure you can change this right if you want. You can change this to... Uh, for the purpose of the video, let's do and then you just have to find wherever it references engine one and change that to patrol one. Now what is patrol one? That will be uh, my Logi Valley police department. So if we go to Logi Valley, prototypes, vehicles, police, and we find patrol one. Patrol one or patrol space one dot e4p. That is our path. Logi Valley prototypes vehicles 03 police patrol space one dot e4p. So we're gonna go here, find our patrol one. It already has mod, which is Logi Valley prototypes vehicles, and we're going to change this to 03 police. I believe that is what it is, at least. Correct. And then we're going to change this to patrol space 1. And obviously you can do that as many times as you need to for all of these different um, references. We're going to press control S and make sure that has saved. We're going to go into now first responders, make sure we don't have the editor opened. And we will load up the Logi Valley modification. I'm doing this video per request, well, not per request of Itchboy, but Itchboy recommended that maybe I should try to do some more modding tutorials just to get the community kind of up to, um, kind of up to speed as to how to do these things and. Um, I'm obviously no professional, um, but 
I do have, I guess, knowledge more than what the average person would, so I'm just trying to share what knowledge I do have. And as I progress my knowledge, I will try to share all of it with you guys. Um, I plan to try to do some more tutorials on Emergency 4. But, um, Gonna have an empty spot in the video. Empty spot so that you can enjoy the wonderful music we're listening to. It's not copyright, provided by a YouTube Audio Library. Which is a great resource for copyright free music. Also, just another basic modding tip. As you can see, I have two Logi Valley mods. I had like six before I just moved them all out to a separate folder. That's because I'm making backups, like every major change that I do. And I recommend that you make a lot of backups. A lot, a lot, a lot of backups. You can never have too many backups. And I've learned that sometimes the hard way, but I haven't been set back like days of progress and I'm sure some modders have lost days, weeks, maybe years of progress just to not having enough backups and don't just make backups on your computer go get a $20 flash drive and put a backup on that as well and if your hard drive fails you have that flash drive if the flash drive fails you have your hard drive if both of those fail and you haven't backed it up on anything else then You know. If you don't wanna change. And I'm gonna fix this uh, free play loading screen. I know it's a bit. Some of the images are blurry. Some of the text goes behind the. Uh, I see called out a PDA. And where we first load into Logi, we will have a script error just because LA Fire Department script is not so friendly with how I've edited it, and I will have to fix it in a later date. And for anyone that gets these script errors, you don't have to click retry or abort, you can just click ignore and continue with your regular game. So we edited patrol 1, so if we call this onto the map, go away. <laughs> I mean the siren works, but I forgot to change it from the uh, siren file it plays, so it plays a, uh, I believe that's a okay. Sterling Siren. And now that's just a regular federal queue. We have a federal queue on a police car, that's amazing. But, uh, as you can see, it was that simple just to implement, uh, this vehicle and see the siren script, because if we wouldn't not have edited the siren script, we are on our way. I will show you. And those voices I have, they are provided uh, by Itchboy, but I believe the report from Emergency 3. See, if we wouldn't have edited the script, it just does nothing, and it might as well just not have a siren. So, that is my script basic scripting tutorial. You don't really do much scripting, you just edit it, really. But now I'm going to go show you guys some basic tips, I guess. Tips and tricks to scripting. So if we open back up Visual Studio Code, also just so you guys know, I'm not sure if I mentioned this at the beginning, Visual Studio Code is entirely free. You can go download it for absolutely nothing. I personally would recommend it. So let's find a uh, 
So for this, for example, if you click on one of these parentheses, you can see where that parenthesis goes. So if I delete that parenthesis, the entire script will no longer work and it's going to throw up some error and it's not going to be very happy about it. Same thing for brackets. You can see what bracket it goes to. So if I delete that, then it, it just doesn't, it, do, it won't work. Let's see if there, is there anything else. And you can create more um, quote unquote instances of this by just uh, copying from here to here. Or no, you want the else if. So from here to here, you can just copy and paste this. Go down here, press enter, backspace, paste that. And then you can edit this. I believe I have. I have 11 siren files, so I can go all the way up to, if I can type, I can go all the way up to 11 if I want to. And the way you do that is you just drop more uh, files in your audio, FX, sirens, and you just drop more files in here and just name them accordingly. And it's not as simple as just finding a siren and dropping it in there. I will be doing a separate video right after this one on that. And I appreciate your attention for this video. As I know, I'm not very professional at making YouTube videos, so it might be a little less than what you expect. But once again, I appreciate your attention. Have a good night, guys. Thank you.